I don't like makeup. I'm <laughs> against makeup. I don't think it's good for women, and I don't think they really need to be. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I think it takes away. What's going on, y'all? Blue Falcon here, coming to you with another video. This video is not going to be long, all right, you guys. But I just got it. I got to start off by saying this. I love Jesus Christ, and I know He's real. I know that 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 he's real. And ain't nobody, no man, I don't care how much power he possess, I don't care how much influence he has, I don't I don't care how fair he speaks. Ain't no man, I don't care what woman you present before me, I don't care how fine she look, I don't care how bad she is. Ain't no man, no woman, no thing going to convince me that Jesus is not real. That the most high that's written about in the Bible is not real. And and let me tell you why. You, you get what I'm saying? Because you saw the thumbnail. You saw the title. And it, it, we, we're talking about how this woman, you're going to see how she clearly manifests a demon. You're going to see it. As clear as day. You're going to see as clear as day that this one girl is going to talk about makeup and how she disdains makeup. And you're going to see for yourself how this other girl is just, she can't even control her bodily functions. She's just straight up manifesting. I can't make this up. I mean, just check this out. For, matter of fact, before I even go there, though, why is this even so important? You know, this issue of makeup. I mean, you hear men, you know, screaming to the top of their lungs saying that we do not, we like natural women. We love natural women. But yet women don't want to hear none of that. At least the modern women don't want to hear none of that. They want to continue to have fake nails, what? fake eyelashes, what? fake hair. What? And now they want a fake face, a fake butt, fake chest. Everything about these modern women is just straight fake. So they get mad at us as men telling you that we like natural women. And, and, and let me just show you, because we're on the topic of makeup. Let us just see what the Bible has to say about makeup. You see, the, the word makeup is not found in the Bible, but you can only see two places where it talks about paint, painting of the face. All right, the first verse is 2 Kings 9.30, and it says, And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, Jezebel... And if anybody knows about Jezebel, she was a wicked woman. Jezebel heard of it, and she painted her face and tired her head and looked out at a window. So notice the first time painting of the face is even mentioned, it's in regards to Jezebel. Of all the women, Jezebel is associated with painting her face. I wonder why. Right? Second, Jeremiah 4 verse 30. He says, and when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Though thou deckest thy cl though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, you know, like earrings, necklace, and all that stuff, right? Ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face, listen, though thou rentest thy face with painting, in vain shall thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee. They will seek thy life. Isn't that crazy? So it's all vain. It's, oh, you, I mean, we've heard of the term beauty is vain. But I did enough talking. I just I wanted to set up just the groundwork so that you could just see this for yourself, you guys. You will see this for yourself. I don't like makeup. I'm <laughs> against makeup. I don't think it's good for women. And I don't think they really Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> That's awesome. Makeup is it's capitalizing on women's insecurities when it's something that they can easily fix. Look at look at her. I think it makeup is makeup is it's capitalizing on women's insecurities when it's something that they can easily fix. Look at look at her. I think it takes away from a woman a woman's natural beauty and also it is so bad for you. Like, you think about how skin absorbs things. I when you read the ingredients on a foundation bottle, what is in it? You can't even pronounce it. It is yeah. a bunch of crap that you're putting on your face. And that is in turn making your skin worse 
So they have to keep buying more foundation to yeah. cover up what it's creating. I don't like makeup. Ooh. I like makeup. I'm going to do it one more time. Just look, look at her face, though. They really do you see her face? There, honestly, I think it takes yes. away. <laughs> That's awesome. Makeup. You see? Oh, my. <laughs> Did you see how this girl literally contorted her neck? She could she couldn't even compose herself. She couldn't even compose herself. And some of you are probably just saying, "Oh, you know, she was just disgusted." Listen, that demon was straight up manifesting. But did did you notice that? I mean, literally, that girl in the first clip, the, the contorting of the neck. I mean, it's it's so clear. And why? Because you had a woman who doesn't apply makeup saying how. She believes it's all vain, just the same way I read it in the Bible, right? She thinks the applying of makeup is vain and how it's shallow and it's not good for you because it, the skin absorbs all those chemicals. But this girl didn't want to hear it. Man, it is sad. Again, I don't want to make this video too long, but you know, I really just wanted to point out, stay clear from these women, again, because, you know, first that which is natural, then that which is spiritual, if a woman is willing to put on all these fake things about her, on her, right? You know, the nails, the makeup, the you know, the necklace, all these stuff, right? If they're willing to put all this fake stuff on them naturally, just think about it spiritually. How is this woman's spirit going to be like? When you're speaking to her, she's probably not going to be even, she's probably going to be just as fake. You're going to have... She's probably going to be speaking to you from the paradigm of people who are stuck in the matrix. You just have a normal conversation with her and she's so programmed, right? She's just so programmed. She can't have any type of meaningful conversations outside of, you know, the drama that happens on soap propers. You know, <laughs> I mean, that's how she's going to be. She, all she's going to be is just this fake individual who's trying to f fit within the confines of of society such a woman will never be moldable because what they push in the society all they pushing let me try to adjust this real quick all they pushing is the mindset of women who don't need a man women that make their own money right so she's gonna be speaking from that paradigm you can't find no real chick like that you're not gonna find no real ride or dive like that I'm telling you brothers this stay clear from these individuals. You need to find yourself a traditional woman. A traditional woman that believes, not in speech, but in action. That believes and loves Jesus. That's, that's your only hope. And, and believe me, don't be fooled by, and that's why I said believe, not only in word, but in function. I'm saying that for a reason, because you don't want just a typical girl that says, oh, I love Jesus, and you have a bunch of these girls in the church, they still wear makeup, too. <laughs> and they look just like the girls in the clubs. <laughs> they look just like the girls in the club. I mean, you playing Russian roulette dealing with some of these church girls nowadays. So, no, I'm not only talking about people who could just say in speech alone that they love Jesus. I'm talking about you need to really vet these girls and look at their life. Look at their life. Are they really about that talk? Or are they just scheming and waiting for that day where, shoot, maybe you, you can't provide no more. They're going to take the kids. They're going to take your money. Zoom. They gone. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom. They gone. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Ah, man. This society is gone. Anyway, if you guys like videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment down below because it does help the channel out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Um, with that being said, Blue Falcon over and out. Jesus is king, y'all. Game to win. Game hard.